Andrew Morton said that the Princess of Wales always saw Harry, 36, as his older brother's wingman. Had Diana, who tragically died in a car crash in 1997, still been alive today she would have been very upset at how the pair's once close relationship has become increasingly strained. He told ITV's Loose Women, Diana said to me quite clearly on several occasions that she saw Harry as the wingman for William in what ultimately would be a very solitary, somber job as future king. She would have been very upset at the way these two have split apart. Mr. Morton, who wrote the 1992 biography Diana, her true story, went on to say that had she still been alive the princess would have undoubtedly worked to mend their fractured relationship. He added, knowing, the brothers, personalities intimately, as a mother would do, she would be working out perhaps with Prince Charles by her side, a way to reconcile them. Months of speculation about fraying relations between the pair were first alluded to by Harry in 2019 when he said they were on different paths. Within months Harry and wife Meghan Markle, 39, stepped back as senior royals, in a move dubbed Megxit. They relocated to Canada, then Los Angeles in search of a private life. But the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been accused of hypocrisy after they have since given interviews revealing personal details about their tenure as senior royals. Among the most explosive revelations during their Oprah Winfrey interview in March was that an unnamed senior royal questioned how dark their then unborn son Archie's skin would be. It was given without context and the pair declined to say who made the remark, although Harry later clarified that it was not the Queen or late Prince Philip. The ensuing media storm led William. 39, to publicly declare that the royal family is very much not a racist family during an engagement shortly after the interview aired. In a statement the Queen said that she was saddened by their couple's revelations but insisted that recollections may vary. The two camps have continued to exchange increasingly bitter barbs with Harry and Meghan accused of gross insensitivity for recording the interview as the Duke of Edinburgh was dying. Harry was given a visibly frosty reception when he returned to Windsor Castle for Prince Philip's funeral in April. Despite there being reports that both sides are trying to reconcile, their increasingly strained relationship continues to be played out in the public eye. All this has reportedly left Prince Charles shell-shocked over the dispute between his two sons. A source told People magazine that the men's father is very hurt and upset, by the ongoing fallout, and feels shell-shocked by it all. On Friday it was confirmed that the brothers will be reunited on July 1 to unveil the long-awaited statue of their mother at Kensington Palace Gardens, which would have been her 60th birthday. According to a statement announcing the statue's commission, the princes hope that the statue will help all those who visit Kensington Palace to reflect on their mother's life and her legacy.